Hey you guys, what is up? It's Ruby. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Um, I live in New York City. I'm 23. This is my lifestyle channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to take a second to do so. Our next goal for this channel is to hit 7k and then also go ahead and follow me on TikTok as well because I post daily content over there and our next goal is to hit 25,000 followers. I've got to be honest, I feel like a bit of a hot mess today. I am on only day two hair, but it it has been so hot in New York that my Dyson Airwrap curls did not stay whatsoever and my hair already feels incredibly greasy. I put a little dry shampoo in my hair, I think it did what it could, but it's still just really not giving and I am aware of that. I feel like the lighting might be a little weird in today's video. I also currently am on day four, look at my hair, this is crazy. <laughs> I am on day four of my left eye constantly twitching. I don't think you can really see it on camera, but I can feel it, let me tell you. But I really want to film this video for you guys because I've been planning to do this for a while. I am a few days away from leaving on my beach vacation with Kevin and his family and so I wanted to do a couple travel related videos and I didn't want to wait to film them like after I got back because that certainly would not make sense at all. So we're just gonna roll with it even though I'm feeling like a hot mess we're just gonna we're just gonna keep it going and keep it real. <laughs> Today as you can obviously tell by the title we're gonna be doing a little what's in my makeup bag beach vacation edition. I really love doing these like what's in my bag what's in my makeup bag and so I thought let's do one now to show you what I'm bringing to the beach we're going to Myrtle Beach which I'm very excited for and we're going for a week I can assume that I'm probably not gonna be wearing makeup for most of the days but I think we are maybe doing like one nice meal or two and then I do want to get pictures with Kevin and Dakota while we're down there so I'm bringing a little bit of makeup it's certainly like not a lot I'm not bringing a ton of variety on this trip but I still thought that it would be fun. Without further ado though, let's just get into it. I'm going to have links for everything down below and let's dive into what I'm bringing. So as far as the makeup organization of it all, I packed these two little bags. Look how cute these are you guys. I just got these in the mail from Amazon a few days ago. I will link them down below. They came in a little set together and then they also come with one of each color in like a slightly smaller style. So you get four bags in all for like 20 bucks. I thought that they would just be cute for like organization, travel, if I'm gonna be gone for the day, like a work day here in the city and I'm packing a backpack and I just want little pouches for organization. I just thought they were really cute. And because I'm trying to pack light, not over pack, I'm putting everything in a carry on for the week. I thought that like this would just be a cute way to store my makeup. Is it like the most organized? Probably not. Um, you know, I have other makeup um, carriers that have like actual like divided compartments but for this trip it's perfect. So I'm gonna try and kind of like go in somewhat of an order. So in this first little pink pouch I have complexion products and then some eye products. Skincare, SPF, all that stuff has not been packed yet so this video is not going to include any of that. This is like specifically makeup. There was obviously no way that I was gonna be traveling without this. Um, this is the Milk Makeup Bionic Glow in the shade Virtual. I think I've talked about this a bajillion times. So on top of my SPF for the days that I'm gonna be wearing makeup, this is what I'm gonna be using as like my glowy under makeup primer. But I thought that this would also be really nice to wear on no makeup days on the beach because it just makes your skin so perfect and just glowy and ugh, I love it. For foundations, again, I'm just bringing two. I'm packing very light as opposed to a trip where I would do like a full glam. We're going like easy on this. But I wanted to bring two different foundations, both of which again have SPF in it. So we have the Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. I have mine in the color Melrose, which is perfect for while I don't have much of a tan, but I'm assuming that I'm definitely going to be developing a little bit of a tan while I'm at the beach, so I also wanted to bring, obviously, my Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation um, in the shade 4.5. Now, I did say 4.5 fair, but it is more of a light medium. Um, it works for me whether I'm like tan or not, but I do feel like it really does work quite nicely with a tan. Um, and then this has SPF 15 in it again. This is a product I've talked about a million times. These are both like so, so, so great. Again, for concealers, I'm just bringing two. I might add a third one into my bag just because, again, if I develop a tan while I'm down there, these might get a little light for me, but we'll see. So first I'm bringing the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. This is amazing for underneath the eyes, but it is also really nice for spot concealing on the face because it does have pretty full coverage. And then I'm also bringing my YSL Touche Clot 
High Cover Radiant Concealer. This is one of my favorites for underneath the eyes. Again, it just like, it feels weightless, but it's brightening. It has a really nice amount of coverage, very natural finish. It's so expensive, but this is one of those concealers that I have repurchased multiple times because it is just that good. For powders, I'm bringing my Say Beauty Air Set Radiant Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. This is basically a powder for when you don't want a powder. I've talked about this again a million times, but it's incredible for setting your makeup, keeping it in place, but not getting rid of the natural glow, um, and really kind of letting your skin stay luminous and radiant. And then I'm also bringing this adorable little travel size of the Charlotte Tilbury um, powder in number two medium. If we do end up going out for like a nice dinner outside where I know I am going to get hot and my face is going to get very dewy, this is nice for just really keeping things matte versus this is great for like I said setting things in place but letting the radiance peek through and this is like nothing's gonna budge and it's a very different finish. So I'm bringing both and because it's a cute little tiny travel size it hardly takes up any room. Up next I'm packing two bronzers and now I did want to bring like quite a few cream and liquid products on this trip just because again I think for like beach days and summer ease of use I always think of like cream and liquid products for some reason but I did also want to make sure that I brought a powder bronzer with me just to like set everything and this is truly one of my favorites and again it's a cute little travel size this is the Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess bronzer it kind of reminds me of the hourglass bronzer in a sense where it has just a little bit of shimmer to it it's not glue glittery by any means, but it's not a flat matte bronzer. So I just think it's really flattering on the skin and it also makes a really nice eyeshadow too. And then for cream bronzer, I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel yet. I know that I've talked about it on TikTok, but I am bringing the Persona Cosmetics Cream Bronzer, the Bronze Multi Stick in the shade Dune. I actually received this in PR and I am obsessed with this. This might honestly be one of the easiest like cream bronzer sticks I have ever used. This and the one from M Cosmetics are definitely like my two favorites. And obviously I have other bronzer, other cream bronzers that I love that are like in actual like pots, but this is so good. Okay, so at first when I was packing everything up makeup wise, I felt like I did a really good job at like condensing and not overpacking. But then I realized I had six blushes <laughs> in my bag and I was like that, that just can't be a thing. I'm literally only going for a week, and like I said, I don't think I'm gonna be wearing makeup every single day, so I narrowed it down to three. So for powder blush, I'm bringing my travel size of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Radiant Magenta. This is just, I go back to this every single summer. It is such a beautiful color, and even though it looks really crazy in the pan, it's very subtle on the skin. The Hourglass blushes are just some of my favorite because they give like like a very subtle amount of color, but just also a beautiful glow to the cheeks. And you can build them up too if you want. They're one of the best formulas. If you haven't tried them yet, start off with the travel size because I know that they are expensive, but they're so good. I'm also bringing the Pixie on the Glow Blush Tinted Moisture Stick in the shade Fleur. This is actually a multi-purpose product. You can use it for both your cheeks and your lips. However, I just like it for my cheeks. It's a little too pink for me and like pale for my lips. But this is one of my favorite easy to use and easy to blend cream blush formulas. So pretty. I feel like this might be going in my beach bag with me um, and just applying like a little bit of tinted sunscreen and this I'll just feel like really nice and put together in, in case we take any like unexpected pictures. And then lastly for blushes, I feel like, you know, it's not summer without this. I am bringing a a little mini size of the Benetint from Benefit, which is just again a lip and cheek stain. I'm sure you've seen this all over your social media. I feel like it's always been popular, but this year especially, it's just made this like resurgence. Again, this is a very easy product to just like quickly apply run out the door and you feel just like so much more put together. For highlight, I'm just bringing one, but I've been really obsessed with this recently. I got it in a little mini kit. This is from Nude Sticks and this is one of their nudies all over face highlights in the shade Hey Honey. This is one of the most beautiful cream highlighters. It looks insane on the skin. It looks so good, literally in like the sunlight too. It just looks like you're glowing. You look like a mermaid. Obviously have to bring along my Urban Decay primer potion. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer 
ever literally I've tried so many new ones recently and this still just like reigns supreme and then for eyeshadows we're keeping it super super simple I'm literally just bringing my Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk eyeshadow quad oh it's so pretty it literally is just like the perfect on the go palette you can use all four colors to create a really beautiful look or just do like a really simple one shadow quick out the door thing it's so pretty when i knew that i was packing kind of like bare bones i was like this is this is coming with me so let's continue with the little green bag here i have just like the rest of my makeup routine and then brushes in here as well it's gonna look like i'm bringing quite a few brow products which i am however the only reason i am is because a couple of these products i'm almost out of and so so I think I'll probably run out while I'm there. First up for brow gels, I'm bringing obviously my Merit Tinted Brow Gel in black brown. This is the greatest tinted brow gel there is. Don't try and change my mind. I, I just, I truly love it. Um, and then I'm bringing this little mini travel size of the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter in clear. I'm bringing this because I love it and it's great, but also um, I'm about to run out of this Merit one. So again, I think I'll probably finish it while I'm at the beach. I already have a repurchase, like a backup in my collection ready to go, but that way I can finish this one up while I'm there. I'm bringing both of my Too Faced brow products that I have because again, I'm about to run out of both of these. They are on their last leg, but wow, these products are so so good. So I have the Too Faced pomade in a pencil and this is in the shade dark brown. This is truly one of the most like unique formulas I've ever tried. It really is like a thick pomade in a brow pencil so you have to go like light handed with this but it is fantastic. And then I also have the Too Faced super fine brow detailer again in the shade dark brown and then this one like it says in the title is just a very very slim teeny tiny little brow pencil so you can do like really fine details and then i'm just bringing the mini size of the benefit precisely my brow pencil in the shade 4.5 i actually bought this specifically for traveling and saving space because it's not as bulky and long as like a regular sized brow pencil i'm actually just bringing one mascara with me this is the ilia what is this called the limitless lash mascara again i was sent this in pr recently and i'm really impressed by it i love it i love the brush it's super unique. If you can tell, each side is different. It really does such a good job though, just like combing through your lashes. It gives such a beautiful separated look and it lasts all day. I never deal with like flaking or anything from this. So I felt like it was a pretty solid pick. I am nothing without a lip liner or two. So I'm bringing two, both of which are from the Sephora collection. These are the Sephora, what are these called? The Rouge Gel Lip Liners, super underrated product. They're under $15. They are so, so, so good. So the first color that I am bringing with me is called sink or suede it's kind of like a cooler toned mauvey pink and then I'm also bringing um, the shade number two nothing but nude which is just a really pretty peachy nude so to save space I'm not actually bringing like any lipsticks um, but I am bringing two gloss products um, I'm bringing the Fenty skin cherry lip oil i just bought this a few days ago um and so i just wanted to bring it with me to kind of get a feel see how i like it and that way i can review it for you guys if it's like stellar because you know i love my lip oils and i'm constantly looking for new formulas my favorite formula um yeah so far i really do like this i don't think it's like spectacular but for the price, it's really good and I am enjoying it and it gives just a slight kiss of color. And then I'm bringing the Neutrogena Moisture Shine Lip Soother. Um, and this is in the shade Gleam number 40. This has SPF 20 in it, so it's perfect for just like day to day, but especially when you're gonna be in the sun, on the beach. It has a really nice cooling sensation on the lips. It smells really good. I feel like, again, this is a very underrated drugstore makeup product. Mm, yeah, it's like sweet and fruity, but also a little minty. And it's just really pretty. It just like, it doesn't give that much color. So it's really nice to layer 
over you know other lip products but yeah that is literally all I'm bringing in the lip department which is crazy and then finally I'm just bringing my travel size Charlotte Tilbury setting spray literally like the best setting spray on the market your makeup is not going anywhere with this so yeah I'm taking this with me and I just love a little mini size it's so cute but there you guys have it that completes everything that I'm bringing makeup wise with me on our beach vacation with Kevin's family I decided not to go into the brushes that I'm bringing because some of them honestly are not even like made anymore that I know for sure and then the other ones are just like the typical ones that I feature in tutorials and TikToks and everything like that I'm obviously bringing my beauty blender as well but I actually just washed it um, to get it nice and clean and ready so it's drying in the bathroom but yeah I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and kind of just going through all that I packed with me. Again, I'll have links for everything down below, including these bags from Amazon. I just think that they're so cute. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And again, click that subscribe button down below. We're trying to reach 7K. That's the next goal here for this channel. You can also follow me on all of my other social media networks. The links are always in the description box down below. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I have an Amazon shop, obviously. I like to know it page. And then there's tons of discount codes in the description as well from some of my favorite brands that I really think that you guys would like. I love Love you all so much. I hope that you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy, and I will see you guys again very, very soon in my next video. Okay? Bye, everybody.